Hey guys, what's up? It's Kat here and welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to be having a first impression try on and review of the new eyeshadow palettes from Detail Makeover. Okay, so I know I'm super late to review this palette. Sobrang busy ako guys throughout December so my apologies for that. So ngayon ko lang siya matatry talaga. Actually guys, hindi ko nga expect na papadalan pa rin nila ako kahit di ako nakapunta sa launching event or launch event nitong eyeshadow palettes na to. Kasi usually may mga ibang events na kapag di ka talaga nakapunta, hindi nila ipapadala mismo yung uh, nilaunch nilang products. Pero luckily, pinadalan pa rin ako ngayon dito may cover. So thank you guys so much. I'm going to start with the Sunset Dream Fit in Colors eyeshadow palette. So tinanggal ko na yung paper guys. Ito siya. Kasi pares lang naman ng print and pares lang naman ng mga details ko nasa ng packaging. Pero alam ko kasi tiniteaser na nila tong um, palette nila matagal na and sinabay na rin siguro sa Egyptian palette which I will show you guys later on. Here is the packaging. Looks like sobrang ganda and it reminds me of the look that I did like 2 years ago ba? Or last year lang. So ayan Hawaii feels at yung tawag ko sa look na yun. The packaging is made out of cardboard, which is good. Maganda ka rin kasi yung mga gantong classing material for traveling and kapag may gig kayo, ba? And, I'm sure nalaglag ko to, pero buti hindi siya nabasa. <laughs> Actually, hindi ko siya intention na nalaglag. Nalaglag kasi siya doon sa lalagyan ng mga PRs ko. So, here is the palette looks inside. So, we have an oval mirror here. That's 15 shades. So, we have 9 mattes and 6 shimmers. As always, sandito pa rin yung ingredients and any information that you want to know. Uh, cruelty free, ang PAO niya is 24 months. Net weight is 22.8 grams. Um, mismong weight ng palette. Wala kasi nakalagay on each pan. we have the Egyptian Desert Palette. It has 14 colors eyeshadow palette. And guys, tignan nyo naman yung design ng packaging. Sobrang ganda. Especially kapag tinitilt ko sa mirror. Ay, sa mirror. <laughs> sa ilaw. Sobrang ganda. See? So, tatanggalin ko lang ulit sa paper na to. Ayan. Kasi same uh, print lang din naman. Ito yung front. And then, ito yung back. Okay, so I'm going to show you what's inside. Ayan siya, guys. So, we have a rectangular mirror. Here and at the bottom, you mga 14 shades. So we have seven mattes and seven shimmers. So I'm very excited because they claim nila na velvet your rich pigments in buttery matte and shimmers. Daw ang meron sa palette na to. bibilin ko tong dalawa. May bundle sila together with this gold pouch cost 1,148 pesos. And guys, maganda na po tong pouch na to. And marami ka malalagay dito. Like wet wipes or any makeup na dadalhin nyo for travel or pag may gala kayo. And yes, pwede siyang pang gala if tulad ko na di ako sanay kasi ng maliit lang na bag na diadala ko pag may gala. So, ayan. Maganda na siya, guys. Okay, so on my right eye, I will use the Sunset Dream Eyeshadow Palette. While on the left side, I will use the Egyptian Desert Palette. So, let's get started! First shade I'm going to take, this is called Nightfall. It's a plum shade right here. And I'm gonna be using a synthetic pencil brush. Ooh! I'm gonna color pay off na guys. That's nice. And once that's done, I'm just going to lightly blend out the edges. Perfect kasi yung mga cut crease guys. If you have like wide lids, yung mga masarap talaga makeup and yung mga ganun. So far, nung nag-freelance makeup artist ako, wala pa naman ako na-encounter ng ganun. But, hopefully, meron. Kasi maganda yung mini-makeupan yung ganyan. Ang dami mong space. Pero pag ganito yung eyes nyo, parang talagang, ano ka, picky ka. Nagiging picky ka sa mga gusto mong gawin na looks. 
So next, I'm going to take a blending brush like so. Kaya naman ko anong gusto nyong gamitin na brush na pag blend. So what I'm going to do is to smoke out the edges. I'm going to be taking this shade called Nostalgia. It's a warm gray shade and I'm going to apply it on my crease area before we cut our crease. So for that, I naman ako ng another brush. So maybe I'm going to use the same brush na lang din, pencil brush kanina. Whoa! Tignan nyo yung iwan sa brush. Hey! Then I'm just going to blend it with the same brush. Cha guys. So as you can tell, mo kasi yung dark plum shade. Pero ang totoo, nagpatong lang ako ng gray shade over that one layer plum shade. Then after that gray shade, inapply ko yung plum, which look like this na. And ang maganda dito sa palette na to is maganda siyang i-combine or patungan ng colors. It means na hindi siya chalky tignan. As you can tell. I'm going to say this is blaze. Um, pag hindi na work out yung blaze, I'm gonna be using the fire instead. But dun mga tayo sa blaze, I'm gonna be using another pencil brush. Dun na sa, ooh! Dun yung pigment niya guys, dalawang dip lang sa pan. Ooh, that's good. Patong ako na lang ng shade called fire. So, I think I'm done on this side of my eyes. So, sa Egyptian palette na tayo. So, first I'm going to take, this is called Papyrus. It's a warm brown shade and it's perfect for transition color. Like so. Okay. Maganda yung pagkuha niya sa pan. That's good. It's going to start here. Putting out pressure. And then, yan. Yeah. Para hindi nakakapigla. Next shade I'm gonna be taking this called Tebes. It's a cool dark brown shade. Konti lang naman during darkness siya sa papyrus. Pero mas dark to. Okay, so I'm not sure kung madidipin natin yung crease ko. But we'll see. It's dark. to take called pyramid it's right here i don't want to look straight onto the camera kasi baha masirin cut crisco play more shimmers on this palette so i'm going to take the shade called oasis um, iridescent shimmer siya, if I'm not mistaken. Um, mukha siyang parang brown blue. Pero, once you swatch it into your skin, pag ititilt mo na sa light, yon ganyan na nangyayari. May brownish, bluish siya. So, I have here the Focular Loose Pigment. It's similar to that one. Para siyang iridescent, I know, parang brown and blue siya. I have a look using this one. So, yon yun yung nagustuhan ko siya kaya ito lang yung shade na binili ko I'm going to do my face makeup off camera so I'll be right back so now I have my face makeup on now I'm going to apply eyeshadows under my eyes so let's start with the Sunset Dream palette I'm going to take just two shades the shade Nightfall and Nostalgia this two right here so I'd like to deepen out more so I'm going to be using the dark brown shade yung Tebes yeah, apply ko lang to malapit sa waterline ko parang sa smoke out mo lang siya. So 
itong going back ahead with the pencil brush sa nightfall again para maging dark brown shade siya. So now I'm going to apply a shimmer on my inner corner but wala akong makitang like um, white or silver na pwede siya sa inner corner ko but I'm just going to use the shade golden kasi yung ibang shimmer parang nakakatakot gamitin. Okay, so for my inner corner on this side, I'm going to be using the shade called Nile. Oh, look at that. So pretty. By the way guys, baka nagtataka kayo bakit hindi ako sumunod sa theme on each palette. Yeah, like for example, sunset yung itsura nito and ito dapat Egyptian. It's just that I want to focus more on the performance on each palette instead of like focusing on the look of my eyeshadows. If you guys get me. And I'm going to do a separate video of this too soon. So stay tuned for that. So now it's time to give you guys my overall thoughts and verdict on this palette. So baka may napapansin kayo muna is my hair. Yes, in straighten out ko lang siya. Uh, kasi nagpe-freezy na talaga siya. Basta ang weird na tignan yung hair ko kanina. Before ko reveal sila individually, let's talk about the packaging. So packaging wise, gusto gusto ko siya. It's cardboard. It's eco-friendly in my opinion. And it's travel safe. Kapag natabig nyo siya or unintended channelin yun na bagsak, hindi kayo mag -wear. Kasi for me, sobrang tibay ng gantong um, kind of material na ginamit sa palette, which is good. And both of them has a mirror inside, which is good also. And also, kompleto sila ng details at the back. Like ingredients, description, PAO, uh, manufacturing date, expiration date, nandito na lahat. Logo ng Cruelty Free, which is good. Ayan siya start with the Sunset Dream eyeshadow palette. So, shade-wise, I love the color selection that they chose for this palette. And also, guys, it has two textures, matte and shimmers. And it really blends well onto my eyes. Maganda sila i-combine. I'm not saying that isang brush tapos i-dip in mo on both shadows. No. Um, yung nakita nyo kanina, dinip in ko yung plum sa may outer crease ko. Tapos nilagyan ko nung gray shade dito sa may crease ko. Nung biniblend out ko sila together, ang ganda. Hindi siya yung tipong chalky or parang pangit tignan. Smooth, buttery yung mattes while yung shimmer is okay naman siya. Hindi naman siya mahirap. And for metallics, yes, it's intense as long as you use a wet flat brush and then or yung fingers nyo para i-apply yung metallics. Yun, ang ganda. Yung mako-comment ko dito is that kulang ng isang shade which is shade violet. Uh, for me kasi, if you think about sunset, may yellow, orange, pink, plum, violet, and gold. And then, the rest na is neutrals na. So, ayan. Yun ang naman. Nakulangan ako. And, wala dito yung perfect na subtle highlight. I mean, wala namang kaso yun. Pero, for me kasi, maganda yung tipong palette na perfect na, for example, uh, pag mag-travel ka, you're going to pick your favorite palette. Kasi nandun na yung pwede kang gumamit ng highlight, um, eyeshadow, or whatsoever. So, yun. Well, I don't find any shade that's perfect for highlight. E, gold na lang ginamit ko. Ayan. I don't know if you can see, pero naglaloko si lighting ko. So, yun lang naman comment ko, okay? Hindi siya totally, like, negative. Like, pangit to, pangit to, no. So, yun lang. So, let's move on to the Egyptian Desert Palette. Ooh, ganda, oh. <laughs> so cute. Shade-wise, I love the color selection actually. It's a neutral, warm tones and it's perfect for everyday and especially for beginners. Play safe to. Hindi siya yung tipo matatakot kang gamitin tong shade na to. Hindi ka matakot tong shade na to. Kasi, alam mo yun, yung parang pagkagamitin mo siya, subtle siya. Hindi, hindi ka yung super mabibigla kapag nilagay sa eyes mo. Oh my God, pangit pala. Ganyan, ganyan. Yung mga colors dito, like perfect for transition. Especially this one, papyrus. Gusto, gusto ko siya as transition shade. Parang nga siyang bronzer, kung tutuusin. And especially, may ano, shade for highlight, which is good. Yan, ano. Ang ganda niyang highlight. ba Maganda. The shades has three textures. Isang matte, shimmer and metallics. For me, isa lang naman shimmer, which is called Artifacts. Kasi, kinumpare ko sa iba, siya na yung naiibi. Parang, matte siya na may parang hint of shimmer sa shade. So, yun lang napansin ko. I'm not sure kung ganito talaga. Pero, yan yun napansin ko. Yung mga comment ko lang dito is that may kulang na shade is 
color light gold. Ano yung yellow na gold? Ganon. And then the shade blue or royal blue. Kasi for me, ang theme kasi nila is Egyptian desert. So when you think about Egyptian, syempre may blue siya, may gold, may green, may red and such. But yun nang ang medyo na off ako dito. Um, I'm not saying pangit ah. Again, comment ko kulang lang ng dalawa or isang color sa palette na to. And siguro nag-expect nga ako na may royal blue. Parang siya yung magiging agaw pansin dito sa palette na to. And I wish tong brown na to is a bit more pigment or mas dark ng konti. Kasi if you're going to do a cut crease, ano siya, subtle cut crease lang ang magagawa nyo like this. Hindi yung bonggang cut crease like this one. Kasi ito, yung green nito talagang pigment eh. Maganda yung color payoff ng green dun sa sunset. Formula wise, gustong gusto ko siya kasi it's easy to blend. Hindi ka may hirapang i-build up yung color. Same as the sunset dream. Kahit i-combine mo yung color, hindi siya chocolate tignan which is good. But as long as you take your time, huwag ka magmadali. Kasi may ibang tao or I for one na experience ko yun na parang at pa itong eyeshadow na to ayun pala I don't give it much time para lumabas yung magandang look parang parang kumbaga yung kasabihan trust the process kasi um one time tong part na to sasabi nila ang ganda pero ginagawa ko siya sabi ko parang ang flat parang hindi ko nagugustuhan yung pala kailangan ko talaga siyang i-build up yung color at that time parang gusto ko isang dip yun na yun and as I watch more tutorials, nakikita ko na kailangan mo talaga ng patience para maging uh, maganda yung color payoff sa eyes mo. Yung matte is very creamy. Yung metallics, wow! Especially yung this one, oh my god, Oasis. Gusto, gusto ko siya. Again, ewan ko, parang na-obsessed no, na ako sa mga iridescent na eyeshadow. Again, the Egyptian Desert Eyeshadow Palette cost 549 pesos. The Sunset Dream Eyeshadow Palette cost 599 pesos. And for me, guys, it's a great value. Sulit na sulit ng pera nyo dito. If nagustuhan nyo si Sunset Dream, okay lang. Kung, kung nagustuhan nyo si Egyptian, okay lang din. Pero if you want to buy them both, meron silang beauty bundle na tinatawag together with the gold pouch which costs 1148 pesos and that is it for me if you guys enjoyed watching it don't forget to click thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and click the notification bell button so you get notified every time i upload a new video i hope to see you guys on my next one bye